people understand that SpaceX can do the calculations to land super heavy booster on chopsticks, but then somehow think that these same actual rocket scientists can't do the calculations to know what the path is going to be of the rocket that they're sending up and where underneath it that they want to have a clear zone. It's, it's just, it's the simplest thing that they're asked to do in relation to the entire launch. SpaceX will have people that sole job is to determine these launch corridors. That's what they do. They do it from the moment that the, the rocket would leave the pad all the way up to a stable orbit and they determine if it failed at any point of that, where is it coming down? Where are the debris coming down? And they have the plan in place and then they submit that to the FAA. And the FAA says, this is good, this is acceptable, there's nothing here that can be harmed. And they sign off on it. They were in that corridor. And then coming back, the same thing happens. From the moment they start the re-entry and leave the stable orbit, they're also doing those same calculations of if we had if we exploded ourselves because we see something we don't like, if we have um, the, the type of scenario where we had today, if that happens, where the debris is gonna fall, is that safe? The FAA looks at, they say that's safe. Any other countries is flying over are probably doing the same thing. And it, it's all going to plan, it's all very, it, there's layers and layers of safety, there's layers and layers of contingency planning, and nothing regarding this is a surprise.